The Badland Ultralight is one of the few true ultralights that weigh in as advertised. Chris also brought something new to show you this year to give you another option for powering your aircraft. And stick around to the end to see how easy it is to swing the wing on this folding wing airplane. All right, Oshkosh 2023 here at the Badland booth with Chris. We've stopped in now. Is this the third, fourth time? How many, how many times have you been here now? Jeez, man. I mean, this week, how many times have you been here? <laughs> this is uh, our fifth year minus 2020. So Wow, it's five years has gone by already, the first time that I met Chris. And every time he brings another airplane that he's finished, which is a good sign, right? If you had just the same airplane over and over, he wouldn't be selling anything, but you're actually selling kits. Yeah, yep. Our primary focus is kit sales, but uh, we will build a kit to any level. Any level of completion that meets your skill level, your time, your budget, whatever whatever you got going on. So a little backstory on Chris. Uh, he moved from, was it Vegas? That's right, yeah. Uh, he, he was a, um, a motorcycle cop in Vegas and was reaching retirement age. and was like, you know what, I want to do something different, completely different with the rest of my life, but still be out in the open air and stuff like that. So he decided to get into the ultralight world and, and really make a kick butt uh, aircraft that actually meets the ultralight weight of what? This plane right here is 247 pounds. I, th I think that's below the, the, the limit is, there, isn't it? That is seven pounds below. So we have, we can put doors, we can put all kinds of fun stuff on this thing. Okay. So we back, so he, he moved from Vegas and he moved out in the country to a little town called what and where? We're in Truman, Minnesota. So we're about uh, 10 miles off I-90, right in the, kind of the heart of Minnesota. So he literally bought a farm with this huge, huge barn. And do you work in the barn or another outbuilding? No, I work in another outbuilding. The barn's kind of dedicated for uh, for events and birthday parties and stuff like that. Truth is, his wife got the barn to play in, and he got the little shack out back to build airplanes, right? <laughs> that's exactly right. But I did get a runway, too. So Hey, that, that's a win-win, then. It's a win-win, for sure. All right, so now he's manufacturing these these aircraft out of his little shack, um, but he's doing a great job. He's very good on Instagram. In fact, he's he's shown this past year there's a harsh winter out there and and the 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 snow blower that broke. And so if you're not following Chris on Instagram, he's a hoot. Just just life in general. But uh, what is your Instagram account? My Instagram account is it's kind of I think if you just search Chris Duel, it's easier to find. But I'm in the nick of time. Back to talking airplanes. So, what um, what does this cons this kit consist? consist of and uh, what kind of work is somebody to expect if they get one? So a base kit comes with everything you need from the firewall aft. So your fabric, wheels, tires, all the controls, all the hardware, everything is aircraft grade, um, aircraft standard. That's kind of my thing. I know we're in a ultra light and we get kind of a bad image, I guess, maybe, but um, I, I want to fix that image. I want to say we are airplanes. We are pilots, just like certified pilots, right. and um, um, you just scaled down. You just scaled down. That's exactly what I do, and, and I get everything from um, you know older planes. That's where I get my inspiration. I take you know the engineering from Cubs and everything I can find. So we know the empty weight of this, and this one specifically is very light. What is the uh, the max gross? Like, how big of a pilot can you accommodate in this aircraft? Um, I usually say max pilot recommendation is about 270. That's that's pretty big. That's a big guy, that, and that would put you right at max gross um, with a 35 horsepower engine, and you're still your rollout might be a little bit longer, but you're still flying. Okay. All right, and what? Um, you do a lot here because you have to. You, you weld the fuselage together and you build wings. I've seen you do that. Um, so when they get the kit, what is left to do? Well, when you get the kit, all the welding is complete. And that's uh, in-house, inspected, and checked over multiple times. You're cutting a few things and you're drilling rivet holes. That's that's really it. It is 51%. You're doing 51% of the work. So um, if you are going to register it, it's ready for EAB. It's ready for experimental. So you don't have to as an ultralight. But again, if somebody wants to go heavy and they want to go experimental, they're already covered with the 51% exactly. rule. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. In the ultralight, you have a 254-pound limit. And it's pretty easy. If you stick to the plan and if you stick to the parts that I give you in the kit, yeah. you'll make weight every time. Well, let's walk us through what it's like to fly. I don't want to hear just like it's it, it flies awesome and amazing and you want another airplane other than this, but just like in reality as a pilot sitting in the seat, 
what do you roll out? How, how long does it take to roll out and, and get into ground effect and fly? Like, tell me like in reality what it's like to fly. So I like the uh, the potato method. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of that. Potato method? It's a potato method, right? So you're all ready to fly. You've done your run up. You wide open throttle, one potato, two potato, tail, three potato, fly. He's a farmer now because he lives on a farm and he's going by potatoes. We would say like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, but now we're doing potatoes. <laughs> I like potato. I mean, French fries, you know, but it's, it's just kind of a, it's a basic. Um, I fly a Luscombe as well. And it, to be honest, the Luscombe is sketchier than one of these. It, uh, that gray area of a tail wheel, you know, when you come down, touch down and you're dancing your feet and you're keeping the, everything under control. And that Luscombe is, it's going on for a while. In this thing, once you get set down nice, as long as you have a nice approach, I hate to say it lands itself, but it, it is a really forgiving plane to land. Awesome. All right, well, there's something else new this year that we haven't ever seen before, so let's switch cameras and talk about engines. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net. South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com. Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com. Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at ExperimentalAircraftChannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics and so much more. All right, Chris, walk us through this new engine of yours here. So, the new four stroke. This is um, a thump air. This one here is a 420cc. Uh, we also have a 460cc available. Um, it's all billet and forged internals, uh, full roller rockers. 40 horsepower and all kinds of torque. That's what gets us in the air, that's what gets us flying. Um, In-house reduction unit, billet flywheel, it, it's just, um, it's, it's everything we've been looking for. We wanted a four stroke that was better than a two stroke. And we wanted to be lighter, which was gonna be harder. Uh, we wanted it more powerful, which was gonna be harder. And we wanted better fuel consumption, that's the easy part. What is and, that? Um, about one and a half gallons per hour. So we're, we're flying places in this thing. Uh, and what does the engine by itself weigh? Engine by itself is about 63 pounds without a starter. So that's uh, recoil start or hand prop. It, yep, no oil cooler. Um, we, we run about a quarter quart additional oil just to get a better splash in there and, and get better oil anywhere. Um, it's, I tell you what, this is what we've been working for. It's been a long time coming. Between, you change the prop and you, you know, you're, you're, missing, uh, you're missing out on torque. If you change the reduction unit, you're losing that torque again. And we need every bit of torque we can. So the combination between the reduction, the prop, the cams, the valve train, every single little component has been tuned right to our peak torque and we're making phenomenal thrust numbers that everything's there we're just uh, i'm in love <laughs> and what's the I price am. point if you want to buy just the engine five grand just for the motor um, that comes with a redrive you have to pick your prop depending on your length and you'll need to pick your carburetor did i tell you nobody's ever sat in this plane first time for everything chris seriously you just put it together yeah i, I finished on friday so, all right, t tell me how to get in touch with you, Chris. So, however you want. I mean, call me, text me, email, Instagram you. Yeah, DM Instagram, you. send me a homing pigeon. Those are cool. Just however you want, man. I'm, I'm always here for you. And I tell you, that's the easiest part of my job is talking to people, answering the phone. It's so easy just to talk to people. And you notice more and more nowadays that you don't get that with, with a lot of companies. And, uh, I, I, my guys all know, my customers know that I'm here. I'm here for you and that's, to me, what's important. So, I, we were talking earlier about uh, the potatoes, right? And uh, it's funny because it's, to me, that's simple and, and I like simple. So, 
everything about it I try to keep simple. When I'm counting potatoes, I'm not messing with all kinds of stuff. I set my flaps and I just go. Wide open throttle, one potato, two potato, three potato fly. Now let's watch Chris give a demonstration on how to swing the wing on a Badland aircraft. I get a lot of requests about how long it takes to fold the wing, so I want to show you. One take. Check it out. So, you keep the bolts in here. Keep it around front. Line that up. Put in. You got one castle nut. Finger tight. No need to tighten it. Safety pin or cotter pin. You gotta come around here, put the flapper on or connect the flapper on. We remove one control horn on this one for folding purposes. It's in here. Here. The cable has one clevis pin. Sorry, I'm in your way. Washer, safety pin. Okay, around the back. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna roll it. Just gonna watch our push pull cables for the flap around, make sure that they're guided right. Drop that in there. Same thing. Finger tight, castle nut. One more flap around. Pretty simple. Clevis pin, safety pin, we are ready to fly.